why is supply and demand considered a law, like the law of gravity? Doesn't this imply that it is outside the realm of human control? It is a law within the context of a free economy where men are left unmolested to pursue their own self-interest. In this context, you have no choice about the applicability of the law of supply and demand. You have no control over it. If you try, for instance, to raise your prices, when there is a big oversupply of the product, you will not be able to succeed. It's, it's uh, impossible in that situation. In fact, more broadly, all human laws are applicable in a specific situation, a specific type, for instance, of political structure. Once you've chosen the context, the effects are out of your control. So, for instance, if we go on, with the advocacy of the ideas that are ruling the country now, it is out of our control that we will end up as some kind of uh, dictatorship. Uh, human control doesn't mean we can get away with the cause without, in, without uh, achieving uh, the effect. So this is not just an issue of economics, and it's not a violation of uh, free will. Now, the differences between uh, the law of gravity and supply and demand, we have choice over the context we're going to uh, create. Uh, we don't have to have, and we don't have to factually have a capitalist economy. We can decide on an economy in which the price is determined by need. In that case, the law of supply and demand is not applicable. Uh, the government will determine what is needed, and that is a possible situation, though not for long. Whereas we can't create a human situation which will nullify uh, the law of gravity. 